Okay, and welcome to the, another video on rescuing partitions. This is rescuing a partition and recovering your files using a rescue CD from a Windows environment. Another reason I do that is some people either cannot boot into a rescue environment, uh, their boot key doesn't work, they just can't get the concept down. Not a big deal. If it's not a main partition you're trying to recover or rescue files from the main partition, you could stay in the Windows environment. But if it's your uh, document folder or someplace like that or on your desktop that you accidentally destroyed the files, then you need the luxury of being able to boot up into a rescue environment because Windows is constantly overriding hard drive space. Okay, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're not going to do a recovery of a partition. We're going to rescue the files off the damaged partition. The reason I'm doing this is I have seen in the past that when you try to directly work with hardware through Windows 7 and above, the world can get a bit flaky. So our only goal right now is just to save the files that are on the USB drive. So you have your Hiren's boot CD, and that's all you need to rescue your thing. Now it'll automatically boot up, or you can just click, click the menu button like I just did. But a lot of times when you slap in a CD, it'll go to auto run mode, that'll pop up. This is just like the menu you see in the rescue environment. Like I said, our only purpose now is just the recovery of our damaged stuff. So we're going to go to Partition Find and Mount. It's the easiest utility i found for users. Now, if you have a hard time identifying which is your hard drive, what you do is first, don't have the USB drive plugged in, run the program. Note the name of the hard drive that appears and the size. So let's say you have a Western Digital main drive that's 300 gigabytes and you have a Western Digital USB drive that's 300 gigabytes. Yes, they both say Western Digital and both say 300 gigabytes, but there will be a different thing. One will be Western Digital USB and the other one will be Western Digital and, and have some ID numbers out from as well. It's very rare that they'll appear exactly the same. So if you have trouble telling the difference, do it this way. We don't hear because we know one's 40 gigs, which is USB, and one's 10 gig, which is the virtual hard drive you see for demonstration. All you do is click scan, just like you did. Always use the uh, intellectual scan. You can use a thorough scan if it doesn't find the stuff you're looking for. But I found intellectual scan works great. You'll see it's a very thing it says no visible partitions we know that because it's not there and you see that there's a partition that's not mounted now if you have a visible partition that means oh I reformatted the drive or the the virus reformatted the drive or I accidentally mixed up K drive with Z drive and I went to format the camera card and I formatted my USB backup it's a very common occurrence so you'll have a visible partition here and then you have the one that you just formatted over and then you can rescue what files you can off the one you just formatted over. Now you can create an image of it, save it on a drive, or you can just mount it, which is what I tell people to do. I said, tell them never get too fancy unless you absolutely have to. Just mount it real quick. There's the files. make you a folder on your desktop drag and drop that easy doesn't take a lot of skill set to do it a few minutes you've rescued your files now I'm going to stop this video here and then I will do another video on how in the Windows environment to run an undelete thank you for watching I hope these videos help out the new users